This video is looking at the features and uses of cloud computing, which is different to cloud storage. The specification tells us that we need to know what online applications are, the consistency of versions between users, single shared instances of a file, and collaboration tools and features. One common misconception is that cloud storage is the same as cloud computing. Now, cloud storage is just a section, just a small section of what's available for cloud computing. So cloud storage, we've already looked at, is where you save your data and files on online servers. So cloud computing is where we are actually running the applications online instead. So online applications is where most of the processing of data and instructions is done online. So what that means is it uses a lot less of your computer's resources. Inside your computer, you obviously have your CPU, your main brain of your computer, and that will be doing less work if you're running the application through a web browser. So in order to use something that's cloud computing, we need to open up a web browser like Google Chrome and you will run the application through the web browser. You can also get special apps that download to your device, but all of the processing will take place online. So just as a little example, um, we could look at a case study with Office 365. Now, our school happens to be a Microsoft school and we use Office 365. Some schools are Google schools and we'll use all of the Google apps and Google Docs. Now, Office 365 basically allows you to run all of the applications available, such as PowerPoint, Word and Excel are the most common that you would use as a student. It allows you to run them all through the web browser. This can be really useful if there's ever any problems with your computer. Perhaps one of the applications isn't working or it's not installed properly. You can access it online as well. Obviously, it also allows you to do work from home. So if you don't happen to have a piece of software like one of PowerPoint or Excel, you'd still be able to do your homework and other pieces of work through Office 365 online. It also allows you to do something called collaboration. So this means working together. So we can open up a document and we can work on it with multiple people. So for example, I might be working on a document um, such as a tracking spreadsheet where I am putting grades in for a student. And other teachers can also edit the document at the same time and I can see what they're doing because it has a little thing with their name on and shows me exactly what they're doing at the time. It also allows you to save all documents in what we call real time. So as you're doing your work, you can see in the top corner that it keeps coming up saying saving because it does regular saves in real time. This can be really useful because if you ever have any problems with your computer, like it freezes or crashes, or you lose power, your document will have still been saved relatively recently. You can also do all of this work without saving any software or installing any software onto your computer. So obviously you can save storage space on your device. Just to summarize the advantages of using some online software, so when we talk about online software, that is cloud computing. The files can be regularly automatically saved, so you don't need to worry about saving your work. Everyone can edit the most up-to-date copy of a file, so we can all work on whatever the last saved version is. We can access the files we're working on from any browser or computer in the world. The collaboration tools show us who's editing a file, so it will come up with their name and show what they're doing. And it's very easy to set up because you don't have to install any software. One key term that you need to know is single shared instance. 
This is a, a term that's referred to when we're talking about shared documents. So when we are sharing a document between multiple people, it can be called a single shared instance because there's only one file. So it allows multiple people to work on a piece of work and we're all working on that single shared instance of the file. Shared documents have got a number of advantages over the printed ones. You can access them from any device, which you've already mentioned. The document shows whoever has made any changes to the document. And we also get something called a version history, which shows all of the different changes that have been made. So it can show all versions of the file at different stages and at different dates. We also are going to have less use of paper. So for example, by using Microsoft Teams, you can all upload your work to an assignment and we don't have to print any of it out. So this means we can save money on printing costs. We don't have to carry paperwork around. We have less space needed for storing the files of paper documents. And we don't need to use the post service anymore to send things out. We can use email and send the document online. So another key term is collaboration tools, which we've already mentioned a couple of times. It means several people can work together on the same document at the same time. So as you can see in the image, this shows a team of people working on documents. At, on the image, they're all sat next to each other, but they could be anywhere in the world and they can use these tools to collaborate and work together. Any changes that are made to any documents are made in real time so we can see the changes live. The final thing to discuss is one major advantage, which is the consistency of version. So by using cloud computing, it means that all applications that we use, everybody is using the same version of that software. So in the past, some schools might have been using Microsoft Office XP, or they might have been using Microsoft Office 2003 or 2007 or 2010, and they're all different versions of software. This can cause a problem because you might want to open a document that's been created on a newer version of software than you've got installed. So obviously, if we go to cloud computing and every single software version is the same, it gets rid of any problems that you would have had before. It also means that when the software is updated, it's done by the provider. So with Office 365, if they bring out a new version of PowerPoint, it will be updated automatically and you don't need to do it yourself. This means all users will use the exact same version, all the same features, and every document can be opened easily. Some files can be different file types like we've had in the past, and that issue is now resolved. You can see by the image on the right hand side what a version number might look like. So the major changes of version, such as when you think about Microsoft Office 2010, 2013, 2017, 2020, and so on. That is the major version number. But then within each one, you will have smaller versions as well. This is now all eliminated if you use cloud computing because everyone is on the same version.